This is just to show a quick overview of the uh, Panasonic 3DO FZ1 and the issues that I'm having with it. Um, basically, it does power on. Uh, you can hear everything running. The laser sled will move back and forth. Uh, you'll see the laser head bob up and down. Uh, it will not read discs. Uh, whether it be a music CD or a game or a CDR. Um, but there's a couple things that happen that are throwing me off. One, uh, no matter how long you let it sit, uh, you can see it's powered on right now. Uh, it will only sit at this screen. It will never move past this screen. So going back down to the unit itself, I'll show what happens when we put the drive back in. The head moves. You can see the laser reading flashing. The screen blacks out. It stays that way for a couple seconds. Goes back to the 3DO logo. Blacks out again and then comes back to the 3DO logo and that's where it's left. And you could see in the video that the, the laser was actually popping up. Now here's what throws me off. One, the Panasonic 3DO, from my understanding, uh, if there's no disc, typically when it sits long enough, it'll eventually come up and say, please insert disc. Even if it's sitting here, it should typically go on to the Asteroid screensaver, and I am not seeing that. What's unusual though, and why I'm thinking it may not be a laser problem necessarily, uh, is you can look at the very front here and very dimly the access light is just constantly flashing. I'm not sure why. It's not the same intensity as, uh, let's say for example, I had eject and I'm gonna go ahead and put in a music CD. It's just a quick testing. And you'll see the intensity is actually much brighter when it's trying to read. And then it goes away, screen goes black, tries to read again, can't read. It goes black, and then it basically sits here. So let me go ahead and show you the behavior now with the actual disc uh, you can see the laser head does move back and just to show because somebody mentioned maybe um, the rails need greased uh, the rails are perfectly greased uh, side note this has been completely recapped uh, so everything every capacitor that was on here has been replaced um, I'm going to go ahead and show you here, and again you can see the, the head move in, my head eject, treats down, slides out, put a disc in, everything spins and it spins up, it stops, spins up fast again, And you can see the reflection of the TV, how it keeps going back and forth between black and the 3DO logo. Um, but basically this is as far as it goes. Uh, I do have the bar that goes up top here that's just sitting aside right now. Uh, I just wanted to see if I could actually see the laser through the CD, which I don't. Uh, because I know on some of the other disc-based systems, but again it's a different laser. Um, you could actually see the laser through the disc as it was trying to read the disc. So. But, if you have any thoughts or ideas on what to do to try to get this unit working, please, I mean, feel free to give me some tips, advice, uh, if there's any particular voltages I need to read, or anything like that. Um, I can't find any schematics online, but I'm trying everything that is known. And again, you can see... There's the front, there's the difference in the intensity, there's it trying to read, there's no disc in it right now, 
and then you see that slight just blinking. It constantly does that, like it's trying to load something, but it can't. Uh, so I'm, I'm not sure if the BIOS is messed up, or uh, some sort of EEPROM or ROM, or, or what, but uh, hey, I mean, hopefully I can eventually get this damn thing working.